Guys, I'm being stared at hardcore by our little Bo Quibel. Bobo? Were you going to go try to steal the cat food? That sounds about right. Every time I hit go, you're uh, planning something. Um, so, hey, everybody. Big news. Big news. And that every time, every time we hit go. Can you chill? Where's Brian Lucas to feel sorry for him? Uh, guys, I could not be more excited about this. Did you see? I would have announced this, but uh, Tommy just uh, blurted it out with me. Dude just sent me a link and was like, here's our new channel. I was like, excuse me, what was that? Oh, there's Brian Lucas. There he is. I sound crackly. I don't know why, but I'll just do this. Can you guys hear me better here? I got something that said StreamYard's having problems, so it may not be me. Is this better? Because if it's not, we may just not be able to do it. Oh, well, look at that. Okay, then what the hell's wrong with my computer? This thing's new and I don't want to have problems. Okay. <laughs> Bye, bro gal. Uh, is it better now? Okay, because somebody said, Carol said lots of static. Tony's Hooter. Hey, babe. Hey, Alex. Amber. Okay, so we're good on the sound. Thank you. I washed my hair today. Hey, VT Kitten. Hey, Danny. Um, so, guys, I got a huge favor. Hey, Olga. Whoops. Just got a text from Tommy saying, are you already telling people? I thought I was supposed to. Well, uh, everybody just pretend you didn't hear it, but please go over and subscribe to our new channel because I have a bet to win. Um, I told Tommy that we can get our 4,000 watch hours in three days because my channel, I got it in two days. So, um, I need to win that bet if you don't mind. So uh, obviously you can't go watch anything yet because there's nothing there. But once there's something there. Oh, dang. There's already almost. I'm winning. I'm winning. All right. I'm going to win the, the bet. Hey, Braz. Uh, Millie the Dandelion, I love you. Cute. So, guys, I'm really excited about this. Who's excited? Robin Miners, they posted a link. Um, it's called, Tommy did all this. I didn't even know he was going to do it. It's called uh, Relate a Boat. Can you do an anti Scientology makeup tutorial? <laughs> That's hilarious. I sure can. I sure can. Hey, Tanya, positive life. Um, hey, Donna. Uh, okay, mods, just keep throwing that link up. Sorry, guys. I'm uh, messaging with my, my co-host, and uh, I, I'm doing things I shouldn't have. I didn't know. What do I know? Uh, hold on. So I'm having a friend come in. I'm not talking to Tommy. I'm not being rude. I'm having a friend come in that has never been on YouTube before. And, uh, I just want you guys to meet him because he was my only friend when I was in Scientology. Now he doesn't know anything about Scientology, but I've been talking about having him on for a long time and he's just going to pop in. Uh, anyway, so RC, hello. Um, that's why I'm looking at my phone, just so you guys know, because he's never done this before and I want to be able to hold his hand through it. Uh, Robin Miners, relatable. Okay, yeah, just if mods, if you, thank you guys. I know, I know for a fact you guys are going to, yeah, Ryan, Millie. Um, I know for, <laughs> babe, I'm live. I know for a fact you guys are going to go over and subscribe and support us, except for the like 
19 people who hate me and Tommy together. I expect the rest of you to go over and subscribe. I'm really kind of excited about this. I didn't know he was going to do it. Uh, SPTV Tattoo Warrior, that'll be up to him. It's not my channel. I didn't get any freaking access to any of this. So uh, I would love to uh, allocate the mods. Um, Um, hold on just a second. God, I hate doing this. You guys, it's rude. I know. And I do get complaints. Um, yep. Hold on guys. I do have to send a text to my friend. Okay. It's done. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, sorry guys, I hate doing that to you again. And I know you do, because so many of you are like, you're rude. Um, what's happening with Riesling? So guys, Sterling, <laughs> I love you, Crystal. You're so cute. What's happening with Riesling? Thank you guys for subscribing. That's amazing. And I knew, I knew you guys would. Who doesn't support us? Like I said, there's about 19 of you that don't, but the rest of you, I expect, I expect uh, I'm reaching for the stars here. Um, Thank you guys. Uh, anti wombat. I'd love it, but it's not my, I mean, unless Tommy gives me some sort of access, which would be great. I don't know how that's going to work with mods because, uh, no rain. You're good, babe. I don't know how that's going to, Oh, Katie Fulton. I love you. How that's going to work. Um, thank you, Brian. Brian always gives grace. So, okay. Riesling Sterling is great. He's taking a little bit of a break, I think, because of how busy the guy is. He's <laughs> Nikki Spencer, rude. Nikki Spencer's like, look what you did, you little jerk. Um, so I love saying that to Huxley, by the way. Guys, um, I will anti-wombat. I love you, Ursina. Ursina, I did an earlier live for you, girl. Everybody go over and subscribe to the Relate About. Sterling's taking a little bit of a break, I think, only because he's constantly traveling for his job. But he did tell me on the phone yesterday, he said, as soon as I can, we're going to do something. I miss Sterling. I love Sterling. I was so happy to talk to him on the phone yesterday. He means the world to me. Uh, Valerie, I love you and Tommy together, as you must know. Valerie, I did know you were a fan girl, and I appreciate that so much. More than a fan, you're a friend. Uh, thank you guys for subscribing. I know it'll build up quickly, and I think it's going to be so much. Half, hold your damn tongue. No. Okay. Uh, Brian Webb. It's good to see you, Brian Webb. I love you, Gretchen. Um, Deeming, what's going on? Why are you sad today? You're never sad, Deeming. Guys, what's wrong with Deeming? Is there something I don't know? Tommy just texted and said there's way more than 368 subscribers. I know, Katie Fulton. I know you do. I need to talk to him about you. Guys are so annoying. I was going to nap per your advice, because I was doing too much rain, get under those covers right now. Get your heating pad out, rain, and get under the covers. Guys, I had to pop another Advil. I'm having cramps. It's day two of Shark Week, and it's not letting up on me. I also uh, have horrible bleach nose because I scrubbed the ever-loving out of my shower today and uh, sinks in the bathroom. Okay, whatever. Okay. Texting my friend. So, uh, the relate about Brianna Miller, we, uh, have a channel going. Um, oh, there's only 373 subs. Then I was, Tommy's looking at something else. Cause he said, uh, 
we had way more than that. He's just trying to get me jazzed up. Um, oh, my uterus is really, really hitting, hitting home. My fallopian tubes uh, and my ovaries as well. Yeah, guys, let's get those numbers up. Okay. So Ryan, hey, Sandy Wandy, is a friend of mine. And uh, he's a good friend. He's very dry. Dude is very dry. He lives here in Kansas City. And um, oh, Ursina, I'm just happy to see you, girl. I wish my cramps weren't so bad. Uh, he is uh, engaged to the cutest little thing ever. Ryan is younger than me. I don't know how much younger, though. I think he's uh, 36. Um, he's got a real dark sense of humor and uh, never been married. Hey, Island Life. Uh, yeah, Katie Fulton. Brian does pop in from time to time. Okay, he's about to come in, he says. And we just wanted to chat. I wanted to, uh, we've talked about him a lot. I've talked about introducing him. He's just a fun friend. And I thought it would be fun for you guys to meet one of my, uh, hey, Robbie Starks. Ah, oh, jazzy girl. Love you, girl. Thanks for being supportive. I don't miss having a uterus or fallopian tubes, Amber. I'm sure you don't miss that. Um, okay. But uh, I think he's just going to pop in and, uh, yeah. Oh, Valerie, you're so nice. He was my friend for a long time. My only friend. Um, we worked together. Uh, Joel Sachs, you're so sweet. I love Joel Sachs. I can't rest after this live because Huxley has a game tonight and he is so excited about it. Dang it. I forgot he had a game. I was going to take him out for pizza. Oh crap. I'm not going to be able to, it'll be too late. Shannon C Ryan was not in Scientology. He just knew me for a long time. And I uh, hate Carol Lauren. And, um, we just, thought we'd, uh, we'd have a chat here and you guys could ask more questions if you want. I really enjoyed those questions yesterday. It didn't put me on the spot in any way. Uh, Reese, I made a necklace like the first one you have on the first one that's lady co, but I love it, Don. That's awesome. Hey, Sarah Robin. Um, thank you, Millie. I hope he wins, but you know, he doesn't get, where the hell have you been dirty mouse? I have not seen you in so long. I was thinking about you yesterday, actually. Of course I was thinking about you because I was in my bathroom looking at all the stuff you've sent me. I hope you're doing good, babe. Uh, I don't know rain because it's going to be late hit. It'll be like eight o'clock when his game is over. That's a little late. I like Huxley to get to bed, but he's so cute last night. You guys, it was like eight Oh five Huxley usually, usually goes to bed by about nine. It was like eight Oh five. And he's like, do you need me to do anything? Um, yeah, dirty mouse. I missed you. He said, do you need me to do anything before I go to bed? And I was like, go to bed. Oh, I don't have a watch on. And, uh, he said, yeah, I'm going to go to bed because I have a game tomorrow. And he's like, I want to be well rested for the game. And he was like, I'm going to get up in the morning and eat a lot of protein. I was like, dude has always been like a 50 year old man. Huxley is so, oh, thank you. You like these earrings? Thank you. Huxley is so funny about that. Oh, Kuala Lu, How do you feel about this? I was going to just do the white shirt. And then I threw the chambray little uh, button down over it. And I was like, this is a little dressed down for me. And sometimes it's not as cute when it's like half the screen. Like when you, you know, that's what the only thing that sucks about putting an outfit together. I put a whole outfit together and then you don't see it. You just see this. I know, Katie, he's so responsible. He's such a cute kid. I love Huck so much. Um, that would be cool, Jin Lee. Is Relate About going to be your official matchmaking channel? I just think it'll be, I didn't, uh, thank you, Jimena. I didn't uh, know Tommy was going to pull the trigger on starting a whole new channel. But after his uh, live last night, I'm not surprised after what he said and announced last night. And guys, I got to say, I'm really proud of Tommy. Um, yeah, no need for pants, Cosmic Christy. Um, there was a couple of bad comments I saw, but that was pretty much it. And I knew that would be the case. You guys are so supportive of him. I know it was a huge decision for him to have to come out and say that. And hey, Tony P, he has been talking about that for a while now. Uh, Ace, and that's true, and I might be doing that now. Um, and and I'm just proud of him. It's it's consuming him and not in a good way, like he said. I don't need to speak for him. I'm just really, uh, and I was so excited about, he does have a big heart. Uh, Kim Wiseman, what happened? Kim Wiseman, aren't you one of the ones that likes us just solo? Me just solo? <laughs> 
Uh, Tommy announced last night that he's going to be cutting way back. Um, his mental health is most important. Absolutely. Hey, C McCarthy, uh, he's going to be cutting way back and eventually, eventually kind of phasing himself out of the lifeboat. And I think Spanx is going to take over. Tommy is a legend. Com Cosmic Chris me that Christy. That's no question. Um, I love that rain. Uh, yep. Kim, I knew it. I knew it. So, uh, I'm going to go over big time and support Spanx. I'm really, I love Spanx though. He and I talk behind the scenes. I just clicked with him the moment I met him. He reminds me of Huxley so much. He's so cool. He's so chill. I know he'll do great. And Tommy will be there with him anyway to help him out if he needs it. Um, but yeah, Sandy, Wendy, he, he works all the time. Um, Without Tommy, there is no lifeboat starfish. That's nah, a little negative to think that way. I disagree. And I think Tommy will be there to help. Thank you, Asen. Um, how often will you do your new channel? It sounds like a lot if it's both channels. I love it, but it's not too much for you both. Um, I don't think it's going to be too much. I don't feel burnt out. Um, yeah, starfish, I agree. He's not going to leave altogether. I don't ever feel burnt out. But I don't, uh, I get a lot of crappy emails too, just like Tommy does from some of you. I got one this morning from somebody that was like really negative with me. And I just wrote back and said, you're being incredibly negative. And they were like, I'm sorry, I'm just protective of you. And I was like, okay, that's understandable. But like, you're being really negative. So, hey, Joe Virus. So it'll be cool. It'll be really nice. Um, we'll probably do shows three to four days a week. And I'm looking forward to it. I, I like that it will clean up my channel. Like we'll have a separate channel for it. So I think it'll be a really good thing. And um, I'm proud of Tommy. I just have to say, I'm really proud of him for um, taking, he always puts others first. I think that's a cancer trait. And I'm proud of him for finally doing this, putting himself first, doing whatever it is that he, yes, Kim, probably. I mean, unless I do something with Sterling on here or somebody else, Tommy and I will do our show though on a separate channel just for you, Kim. Just kidding. Uh, and Victoria Pease. She's also like Kim. There's a couple of you that really like me just solo. And I love those girls. I appreciate you. It's loyal. Um, yeah, Sharona, I just want him to take care of himself. He needs to Dude's going to be 54. He's doing everything anyway to take care of himself. He's lost a ton of weight. He works out all the time. I talk to him every morning when he does his four mile walks. So I just, yeah, Sandy, Wendy, I just want him to do this for himself. And I'm really proud of him. Ryan, you ready, brother? Or are you going to get up and walk away again? Okay, guys, this is my friend, Ryan. I think you're really going to like him. He's a real punk ass, but in a good way. And like I said, he's dry. And uh, I actually miss chatting with him. Well, we have phone-ins, Tina, all the time. Yeah, we'll do the, the call-in show as well. All right, everybody meet Ryan. Hi. Can you hear me? Is this working? It's working. Can you hear it's me? Working, dude. Yeah, I hear you I fine. Have use, I have to use my... Uh... My, my AirPods. So I don't, I don't have like a fancy camera and studio microphone and brand yes, new you MacBook. Do. You have every Apple product under the sun. Don't try to lie to me. You're only lying to yourself. My, my computer's from like 2020. So really? Yeah. Yeah. Does it do I don't, cool I don't, things like that? It, it should. It, it does when I'm on my zoom calls for work. Never mind, you're not that cool. And I think I already knew that. Everybody's saying hi to you. Hi. How, how do you see that? I, I Can I not see that? Um, look around somewhere on your screen and it should say comments or something. Oh, no, it was on private chat. Okay. There you go. Cool. All right. So what do you, what, what do you want to talk about? Well, I thought we'd just sit here and be awkward. Well, you, you're the expert, not me, so... Well, then we're in real trouble if that's what you believe. Well, do you remember? No, I remember when you called me and said, Jeff just randomly bought me a, a microphone. I don't know what I'm going to do. No one will want to listen to me. And now look at you. You, you got now your look. little posse and everything. It's very cool. Now look, no one wants to listen to me still. Isn't that weird? I, uh, I, every time I look at your subscribers, they've gone up. So that's... Ryan, do you have any pets? Pets, I do. I have Abby, who is my little old lady laying down, and I have Graham Cracker, who's a little, a little brat. He uh -oh. he's not little. He's big. People are already hitting on you. Oh, 
I am happily spoken for. How did I already told them how uh, how did you meet Reese, Ryan? Please tell us. Uh, please explain. Um, I was technically Reese's boss, although she never really listened to anything. That's absolutely. Would, uh, what did I do? I just watched episodes of Shit's Creek all day, and you were like, she I would think literally not- sit there. No, I mean to to be fair, there I don't really feel it was. I started right when COVID started, right, and so there wasn't, and we were working in senior living, so there wasn't a whole lot for us to do. So. Reese watched a whole lot oh, of Shit's Creek. Or dogs. He has dogs, by the way. Um, yeah, two dogs. Graham, come here, baby. If, if you want to see Graham, come here. That's Graham Cracker. Oh, my God. He's so cute. They rescued him not that long ago, and Ryan sends me videos of him all the time. Yeah. Abby is hey, old, Bobby. and I think she's going a little senile. She just kind of wanders around. But, yeah, she's 17 this year. So, Does Reese smell good? Oh, when she washes her hair and showers, yeah. Yeah. Well, I shower every day, but it is true that I don't wash my hair all the time. Um, That's okay. Yeah, so Ryan and I worked together every day, and I brought uh, Miss mm-hmm. Gertrude with me every day. Oh, yeah. And uh, he stepped in as the boss, and... Uh... I mean... Did you, feel, did you feel like the boss? Did I treat you... Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. When when we were at work, yeah, absolutely. I don't, yeah. But to I be like fair, I like I don't. You to f off all the time. But I think I told you to f off too. Like all the it time. it wasn't a disrespectful relationship by any means. But I also I wouldn't call it. I wouldn't say it was it was personal. And I do think that part of that might have been like the situation that we were we were kind of stuck in. So that, there honestly wasn't a whole lot of work to do. Like everything that you had been doing before me, the company had shut down. So all the activities. So it was really the two of us in an office kind of playing with the dog, shooting the shit. Uh, I mean, there really wasn't, I, I feel like in a different time and place, it probably would have been different, but that's just not the cards we were dealt. So, and then I met uh, Jeff and um, yeah, just kind of went from there. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So I, I do th- how, how do these pop up? How, who decides who pops these up? I do. Okay. Yeah, Gertie's Gertie's my baby. Every time I see her, she runs over to me. She's very she's very sweet. She's she a she's a cuddle Ryan. bug. She loves yeah. Ryan. Uh, what kind of work? We worked in senior living together. Property management. Yeah. Uh, sadly, he did not. He did not know Fred. No. Um. But yeah, I watched a lot of uh, Shit's Creek and didn't work at that point. I had kind of given up because what happened, guys, was the I loved my job there, and then they uh, sold it to a corporate company, and it was mm-hmm. awful, and I hated the company, and so I just kind of checked out and clocked in every day, and I would just watch a lot of Shit's Creek. You watched a lot of stuff too, though. Oh yeah, yeah. I uh... put headphones in and just watch movies. It was terrible. Yeah. Well, we, but again, it's like, we couldn't do anything. So it's not like we were just screwing around and, and effing oh, off for, for no reason. Like we were, I mean, we, we had our legs cut off from under us. I mean, there, there was nothing we could do. So there was nothing to do except watch Shit's Creek and go get Taco Bell. Did Ryan know about Coe's? Scientology, Coase. Church of Scientology. Oh, so I did not know Reese was in Scientology until I made fun of it at work and she's like oh by the way i'm a scientologist and i, I didn't know what to say i was just like well really? i'm, I'm sorry I remember that. yeah mm-hmm. yeah I, I made some joke about about scientology or scientologist being you know crazy and you're like I, i'm in scientology it had never come up before and uh i didn't yeah. talk about it ever to people <laughs> no she, i i didn't know what to say i was like well shit like you know, mm-hmm. hr is gonna get me now but yeah oh yeah and then yeah. But to be to be fair, like I, I don't I don't feel like you took it seriously either. Like I don't know, you never tried to hook me up to machines or convert me or like it it was like I don't know, you're a Scientologist by just because you were, not because you actually I was grandfathered in. It. Yeah, yeah. I was grandfathered. You didn't take in it seriously. From my previous life. I was very enthused and very happy to hear when everything went down, honestly. So you were, you were, yes. um, yes. everybody likes you so far, Ryan. Good job. Cause you're a bit dicky. As a matter of fact, that's what I used to call you. Dicky. 
she she wrote that on my birthday card. I've I've got it. I think it's downstairs when I moved. She literally wrote Dicky on the on the envelope. That's right. I remember that. It was sweet. I remember that. Yeah. Um. So that was fun. And uh, Ryan and I. So Ryan knows Jeff. Mm Mm-hmm. Yep. Very familiar with Jeff. Any questions you want to know about Jeff? I'll answer those too. Anything you want to know? Anything you want to know, guys? And he knows a lot. Uh, we used to go all the time up to the Scotch and Cigar Bar. Um, yeah. Ryan, do you have kids? Not that I know of. He was there before the outing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I've known Ryan for like five years now. Ryan came to my wedding. You know what's interesting about mm-hmm. that is we had a... Uh, uh, no, ditto, Deb. That's a no. I um. We had a wedding. It was my first wedding. I sure I've been married many times, but I've never had a wedding. And we had a wedding because Jeff had a bunch of friends. I only had Ryan. So like the bride side was Ryan and what my parents. And then it was all Jeff people. So Ryan came to the wedding and that was fun. Um, except for that crazy girl you were dating then. Yeah. Yeah, it was it, it was a very small wedding. But that's kind of the wedding that Natalie and I want as well. Like we don't want a big wedding. It was me, her, Alexa, her mom, her whoever, uh, your family, and then I think that it oh, was I not that many Alexa. people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a that was a fun wedding though. Honestly, the food it was it it, it, it was it was it was really nice. The country club was really nice. I I liked how the area. So like some of the chapels that we've looked at, they're so big, but we don't want that many people. So Natalie's very hesitant to do anything like that because she doesn't want it to like the pictures to you know look awkward or anything. So yeah, it was a it was the whole thing was was really nice. Food was good. The food was really why I went to the wedding. To be honest. Well, the th- okay, I've been to weddings with with crazy girls. She wasn't crazy all the time, but she was. Yeah, she was. She was a nutcase. She was crazy when she drank, but she drinks all the time. So again, and, uh, around the clock nutcase. Do you have any hobbies? Um. Why do you look like you've I gained like, weight? Have you gained weight I've, because you're getting married? I've, no, I've 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 lost weight because I'm getting married. I'm ready to like rock out the honeymoon. I've been going to the gym every week. Your and face looks chubby. I know. I don't know why. I should take a pregnancy test. <laughs> Awful. The worst. I told I told Natalie she needs to like take a pregnancy test. So she's got the the IUD, but like two nights ago, she was just like she was acting wild. She was just crazy. She was just in a mood for no reason. And then she had like a she started like bawling her eyes out because Graham is so cute and such a good boy. She was literally laying in bed crying about it. I'm like, what is wrong? With Brother, you? Like, I started my period <laughs> yesterday. Um, Dark week. Yeah. I start, And I, I literally have been all up and down the emotional scale today. I literally slapped Jeff on the arm when he was getting something out of the fridge. For, and he was like, what was that for? And I was like, get out of here. Take your face and get out of here. And then I went and apologized. I've just, it's a lot. It's a lot to handle. I, I hope the IUDs are, are not 100%. I'm doing everything I can to slip one past that. So some people are saying IUDs aren't 100%. I, I hope they're not. Someone asked about hobbies too. I don't know. I like, I like watching movies. I like camping. I have only drank coffee today. So possibly. Okay. That's probably your issue um, then. That's why you look puffy. Uh, I like Hi, hunting, but I haven't been able to go in a while. Um, His fiance hmm. is really cute, you guys. Really cute. Where oh, is she? she? Is. She's is she at work. She's at she's at work. Yeah. Oh, does she know you're doing this with me? I I, I told her. I said that um, I think I was going to do one with you, and she said do it. And then she said, um, "I said I don't know what to talk about." She said, "Be funny, so they'll want you back on." I was like, "Well, I don't know how to be funny, so I just." Well, and you're a bit dicky, but you're dry. And that's why I like you. I like your dry humor. You have very, but guys, honestly, Ryan is dark and and dark, like real dark. Like he sends me some memes and I will laugh. (laughs) And then I feel guilty that I laughed. (laughs) (laughs) I'm looking at the ones I sent you now. That one you sent me yesterday was the. (laughs) Which one? I don't know why that got to me so much. The the iPhone one. 
the, oh the, yeah 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 oh my god ryan do you have any tattoos does he yeah oh. so i've got well, i don't want to pull my shirt off this oh, is a can family we show your wedding it's not a family show at all can we stream your wedding? yeah yeah uh, so i've okay. got um this arm done i've got this arm done i've got my chest done i've got a plague doctor boyfriend. on my stomach that was my yeah. boyfriend. uh he's got where let's see your other arm well i mean do you want me do you want to see my my arms okay I mean, you're here what's you know i haven't stripped in front of a webcam you, in so long it's, time or... it's weird so i've got this one most of them were done freehand so this is my my oh, latest that's like one. Tommy. Tommy's were freehand in prison. Uh, I paid for mine with not cigarettes, so I think I, I I don't I don't have any prison tattoos. Um, well, you're not as cool. Did, that's okay, that's all right. Well, you know, then that one. Fun, funny story. I had a tattoo here that I got with another crazy ex, and I came back to Kansas City. I wanted to cover it up, and I was like, "Well, cover it up with the Grim Reaper." And um, I just thought that would be funny. And I found out not that long ago, well, probably a couple years ago, that she actually died. So that that got real dark real fast. That um, is, I've that's got a dark turn. That's a dark, yeah, that's a dark alley. I've got that arm done. Oh, see, you don't, you're chubby. Let's see your tummy again. I mean, there's a little something there. You look like you've gained there's, weight. You she know, makes a lot of pasta. Like, Natalie's a very yeah. good cook, and she is at making pasta. So she makes pasta a lot. She made pasta last night. And so, yeah, I eat a lot of pasta and then I, I go to the I gym and I try and uh, you got the beaties, you got the real beaties too. So be careful. I, I, I do. I, I don't have the, the diabetes from being lazy. I have the diabetes at my pancreas. Right. Shut I have down, a lazy so. kind. Yeah. 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 Uh, recess, but you've got it under control. I've been very, been doing very good. Thanks to all the drugs. Very good. Yeah. yeah doing a lot better. Um, what is your astrology sign? He's a Taurus. As a matter of fact, uh, your yeah. birthday is a month from today. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Yeah, it um, is. Yeah, I like that. What are we going to do about it? Maybe we can go out to eat and get more pasta. We should. No, I I am a, a little chubby. It's 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 fine. I mean, I am a I'm a little bit. That's why I joined Genesis and I've been going and I've been doing like a lot of weights and. Um. Can we see Ryan and Reese in the wild of Missouri? We like dry and dicky Ryan. Uh, yeah, we could go out and do stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Although you live is, so far away now. Well, I, you know, what's cool is I have a vehicle. What's funny is that Reese moved out to the town that I was living in that she was making fun of me for living in about two minutes from where I was living. And I moved out to Reese's bougie part of Kansas. And we just kind of. Yeah. We kind of flip flopped, and now Reese is in the in. hood. Yeah, I mean it's you know how the turntables. I am in Trashville, and that's why I don't do anything here. I go back to where I came from when I shop. I have a hair appointment this week, dude. I my still go to my OBGYNs over there. Don't be making fun, okay? I like my house, by the way. I love Reese's house. Yeah, it's a nice ass house, but it yeah. happens to be dropped in the middle of uh trashville it is a little annoying that your house that i think the room that you're in was always my fallback in case i ever like went bankrupt and lost everything and yeah, you turned my room into a studio in. i always said you yeah. could move in i invite people to move in here all the time but it's weird nobody does um have reese go to the gym with ryan what am i going to do there do they have do they sell do they have like a snack machine what would i do there they have like health food snacks god my eyes are puffy holy shit um yeah, they've you're, got you're like it up a little bit i don't know what's going on I, I, the pasta. I, am. I haven't seen him in a minute and he's looking chub i think this is just getting getting old reese no because you're younger uh, than me and i don't have those hey well, let me see use, hold like... on do you have forehead wrinkles act like a murderer just walked in oh see that's awesome i don't have any I've got the little crochet. Oh, right see, here. I don't have those either. I've, I've, cool. I've got the gray. I, I told I told Natalie I was going to get a, a just for men, and she was like, "Oh my god, no! I I like the gray." So oh, she yeah. she likes older guys. She she likes older guys like you, just not as old as you do. So just not like T Rex style. Yeah, you know. Um. Yeah, Ryan's. Uh. He. You know, dude, you haven't aged. You. How old are you? Thirty five. 
No, I'm turning 38 next month. I'm 37. You're only... We're only two years apart. Yeah. Yeah, you're not that far from me. Why did I think you were like five years younger than me? I don't know. Huh. Oh, look, this is a Arsena. She's an MD. She's a, actually, she's an oncologist. Recommend not only your OBGYN just in case he is successful with out maneuvering the IUD. I don't know what that means. And it creeps me out. Well, I, I thought about pulling it out. She, she told me I could. So I, I thought about actually pulling it out. <laughs> that's not okay. That's gross. First of all, but that's not possible. Ditto Deb. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan has ruined my self-esteem. I assure you way before. Remember that one time at work, you were like, uh, if you were the last female on earth, I would never sleep with you. And I was like, that kind of hurt. I was like, I don't so, know. I mean, I'm, we have no attraction to each other whatsoever. I, I, I don't know. Ever. At, ever yeah. At never Reese happened. is just like the, the, the bro. Right. And, uh, yeah, I definitely which is so like, weird when, cause my ex was so nice. like freaked out about you. Natalie's not like, I, I, I told Natalie, I asked her, I'm like, are, are you okay that I talked to Reese? And she's like, after watching how you guys interact and the guys that she's into, she's like, I have no issues. And I think what, what I actually said was, uh, Reese's taste. Yeah. I don't have any issues. I'm not sure. <laughs> I, I, I think what I said is, uh, if we were the last two people on earth, the world is doomed because we'd never be able to repopulate uh, I think it. You I just, just polished can't. it up. But the day at work, you were like, I wouldn't sleep with you if you were the last female. And I was like, look, I never thought about sleeping <laughs> with you once, but if I'm going to be the last person, like that made me a little depressed. I got to remember I, I, that kind of etched into my brain. I think you should apologize. Well, guys, he I has stand by ruined. it. Okay. That's I stand by it. No, no, no offense. I see you as like one of the guys. Absolutely. So. And same here. And since all this weight you've put on, I'm even less attracted. But all I'm trying to say is, all I'm trying to say is the last one, that's kind of a that's a harsh. Like if you were the last, if it was Adam and Eve, like we still wouldn't. I don't know. It kind of hurt. Hey Shelly. Oh, is not so painful if you. I don't know what I can't. I use so I can out. so I, I can pull it out with one of those menstrual cups, just like suction vacuum it out. I that's have a, a cup thing. in right now. My cup is in right now, and my cup is about to run it over again for the second time today. I, I, I'm gonna let her know. It's like, look, I'm not getting any younger. I I, I want a child. Do We're you gonna really figure know? out a way to. You know they're pretty oh, yeah. overrated, dude. No, I, I don't I don't think so. You, you don't think Oxley's overrated? Yeah, that's I only had him though because of that. I uh I knew that if I had another one it would be a holy terror. Uh would you rather Tanya Harding or Reese? Tanya Harding. Tanya because she's kind of crazy and I feel like if I had any issues she would go like break some bitches kneecaps. I I kind of respect that level of crazy. Wait a minute. You don't think I'm crazy? I don't think you're break someone's kneecaps crazy, no. Well, what kind of crazy do you think I am? Because I always thought you thought I was crazy. This this is painful. You think I'm you're not, vanilla? I'm not vanilla. You're I'm not, not you're not you're not violent crazy. You are vanilla. I literally watched yesterday's thing where you described yourself as as vanilla. You said, I'm pretty vanilla, I think is the quote. So yeah. I don't think you're you're Vanilla violent crazy. Sexually, but if I were, let's just say I got cheated on, you don't think I'm crazy? That's painful. I I don't even would, know. Would, would would you go break someone's kneecaps because of that? Uh, I wouldn't break somebody's kneecaps, but I would burn their house down and like, you know, I mean, I would I would set things I'm, on fire. I I mean, I, I would do I would do time. That's not really fair for you to say. I I I think you misunderstand me and i all these years you said that i was nuts and now you're trying to backtrack backpack i don't think you're violent i don't think you're 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 violent i i think you're crazy to a degree of course i mean just from the stories you told me i'm crazy i'm incredibly unstable emotionally wait what did you do to the motorcycle did, did i miss something did, did you fuck up just motorcycle can, can, can i say that yeah, I mean, I'll lose. I'll, you just, email. I'll just, you can Venmo me. That's fine. Um, <laughs> did, did you mess up Jeff's motorcycle? 
Oh no, I wouldn't still be married if it was current. I mean, once I F up a motorcycle, I'm leaving. I'm out. I got to go. I, I, the cops are after me. Uh, no. Uh, never but vanilla. What's never but vanilla? Oh, no butt sex. Oh. Um, I had a guy cheat on me once and I knocked his Harley over and I keyed it. And I was a smoker at the time and I put cigarettes out on his couch. No, you didn't know this, Brian. And then his dog, his he was out of town and I was at his house. I took his toothbrush and brushed his dog's a-hole. I do remember you telling me that now. I do remember you telling me that. That was one of the stories she told me at, at work. Yeah. I do so remember that. Why don't you take it back that you said I'm not crazy? I never said you're not crazy. I just never thought of you as violent. If I'm wrong about you being violent, I am so, so sorry. I mean, I'm violent. I would think with like their things, of course, I'm not going to break me. Why would I do that to a man? That's just stupid. There, Jeff is six foot that, three, 300 pounds. Who's going to win? Shrek but is going to win. Well, Shrek will always win. Shrek is awesome. But if Jeff, if, if it was a, I mean, a woman, would you, go, would you go like shatter a woman's kneecap? Well, again, no, because I don't know how to fight. I don't even know how to make a fist and throw a punch. But I will shatter her Chrysler LeBaron. No, no, girls, I'll, girls I'll, like that I'll drive. Good, like, I'm gonna like it's like Goodfellas, like for sure. Gr gr like, girls like I, I love that scene. Girls like that drive like Altimos. That's the you you you'd key her her Altima is what you're saying. Okay, cool. Yeah, I would definitely slash her tires. I would um, do like in the mafia movies, and I would like uh, you know put something in the gas tank and light it on fire and walk away. I just don't know that I feel like you're trying to make it seem like I am not unhinged. And I just, I think you're lying to the crowd and it's not cool. Reese is, Reese is nuts. She's, she's insane. She's, she's crazy. Stay far away. If I got cheated on, you have to be specific. <laughs> okay. If you got cheated on, you're crazy and you'll. Honestly, how many tires would I slash? How, how, how do you three. slash a tire? You slash you... three tires. Mm-hmm. Because if it's four, I, I think I read that four, the insurance can, will, can pay for it. But if it's three, they have to go get all, all new tires on their own. Something like that. Um, it, does it take a lot of effort or muscle to slash a tire? I mean, you just stab the sidewall of it with a, with a knife. Brian Lucas knows me really well. Reese is sneaky. Where'd it go? Reese is sneaky in her crazy. Thank you, Brian. I, I knew somebody would stick up for me. Yeah, Shelly. She's cray cray. I just... I don't want to get cheated on, honestly. Hey, Debbie Evans. Yeah, that's like the one thing that I, yeah, that I I, I told Natalie like one time I was like uh, I I had a nightmare before that you that you cheated on me, and I, I don't think she ever would, but I I that is like I I don't know I have a thing about that I don't I don't like cheating. Tina, that's some dark shit there. I got mad at my husband and stabbed his pillow with a kitchen knife while he was in the bathroom. For years, he wouldn't go to sleep. <laughs> Dang, girl. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a wow. that's a whole new level. That unlocks a new crazy. Um, Jeez. yeah. So I mean, you know, I, I wouldn't say I would never hurt somebody physically, just because I don't know how. I'm not a Steven Seagal type. You know, I, I'm not clever in, in in that sense. I'm not 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 going to be a Chuck Norris, but I definitely would. Um, and I would never hurt a living thing. Like I'm not going to hurt your other than brush your dog's bee hole. I mean, it hurt the dog, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I would set something on, you know, I probably, an, I'm probably an arsonist. I've, I've calmed down since I've got older. I used to be, I used to be pretty aggressive when, when I was younger. I've, I've mellowed out as I've got older for sure. Mm -hmm. I, I got in a lot of fights when I was younger and I was very, very hot headed. And now it's, it's, I'm, I, I'm, it's much more under control than it, than it was. Mm -hmm. Well, you've also calmed down because you finally are getting married. I mean, you've owned true. pretty much everything in Kansas city. That is. Except me. Cause true. if I was the last person alive, I guess it's still not going to be me, which again, I wouldn't want it to be like, I would never, I don't ever, I don't even look at you that like ever, but still, the last person? I don't know. Okay, so the star chats, how much have you seen Reese change? Oh, uh, I'm gonna switch the subject, whatever. Uh how much have you oh. I, I, I I told you you're you're crazy. She she's insane. She'll she'll burn your house down. 
How much has, have I changed, Ryan? Do you have any uh, answers for that? Well, love you, Tommy. Uh, I'm not going to vandalize your Harley, Tommy, but don't be a cheater, dude. Just don't be cheating. Yeah, Tommy, don't, don't cheat on Reese, Tommy. Tommy. Don't be cheating, huh? Yeah, Tommy, don't cheat on Reese, Tommy. Don't cheat, yeah, Tommy. Don't, don't be cheating. Don't be uh, cheating. Um, I think Reese. Hey, don't you follow Tommy's brother? Yeah. Remember when you texted me once and you were like, wait a minute, you know, Johnny Scoville, you were like, I love that guy. And I was like, I didn't, I didn't know he had a brother till, till you told me. I was like, right, okay. I, I had no clue, but uh, Reese yeah. is, I think, I, I think Reese has got more confident than she was when I first met her. Reese is, is not a confident person. But I think you probably tell tell people that too. But yeah, Reese is not a very confident person. I think like most women, she unnecessarily has like body image issues. And I think pretty much the the normal thing that most women have only maybe amplified a, a little bit. And I think since really since starting this whole YouTube thing, I, I it seems like that has changed a, a lot. I, I feel like you're much more confident. I feel like... Um, yeah, I, I think confidence is probably the, the, the biggest thing with you that I've seen. I think I've gained. I don't know if you, I, I, I don't know if, if you, if you realize it though, I think, I think you'd probably do, still describe yourself as like not confident at all and whatever, but I, I, it's something that I have noticed is, has actually changed. Oh, that's good to hear. I think, I think maybe you're, you're a little funnier too, because you have more people out there to like try your, your material out on. I, I always thought you're funny. And I, I distinctly remember telling you, like, people are going to love watching. It's like, you're funny, but you don't know you're funny. And I feel like talking to and having, like, a bunch of people, like, talk back and stuff, I feel like you've actually become quite a bit funnier. Like, I could, if, if you had the balls to do it, I could totally see you doing, like, stand-up. Oh, God, no. Absolutely I not. could, I, no, I'm not saying you, 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 you can go up there and do it, but I think if you could bring yourself to go, do something like that, I, I think it would be hilarious. Hmm. Well, yeah. let's... Yeah, I, I, I think confidence definitely the, the biggest thing. Yeah, I would M say Much more of it. I feel like I've gotten to know myself a lot more through my channel. Um, and then uh, Kim says, how does he feel about Scientology? I mean, I don't know how much you even know about it. Oh, I think it's freaking hilarious. I, and no, no, no offense, but to whoever does it or did it, but... I just can't understand how kids I, I get being brought up in it. Kids are easily indoctrinated. It's literally a parent's job is to indoctrinate their, their children. I don't find that funny. I do find funny, like adults that get caught up in it. I, I just, I can't wrap my head around how people can get sucked up into it and told that they have to like, I don't know, isolate from their family. And I, it, it, it honestly blows my mind. I, I, I don't understand it. I do not get it. Like I said, kids being brought up in it, I, I can absolutely un understand that. I think it's like borderline abusive, if not flat out abusive, but like just cracks me up seeing adults get into it. I don't know. Yeah, the adults part, it can be. I mean, it, I don't care uh, uh, what an adult does, but um, it is abusive, the kids part, no question. But you don't yeah. know a lot about it. And I never really talked to you a lot about it. So yeah. it is pure. A pure. lot of what I've, like, I've, I've heard like some of the stories that you told me about, like how you had to escape from it and, and things like that. And that was like, I don't know, that kind of blew my mind. Um, but what the little bit that I know about it, like the whole aliens and planets and I don't know, it was just for me Googling, I would hear like people talk about something on your stream or what's his face is stream when you were on there. And I would go like search it and trying to find out like what, what people were talking about. <laughs> Yeah, it was pretty so. nuts, really. We didn't talk about it much in in the past, so it worked. No, that's that's no. guys. That's a that's a point I've always made is being a Scientologist. I did not talk about it with people, even my close friend like Ryan, because it's just a rabbit hole that, uh, and you know, people get into the God talk and you know the the aliens, and it just was the same thing over and over. Um, yeah, it's like an adult yeah. starting to believe in Santa Claus, Brianna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Except um, Santa Claus is, you know, based on an actual saint and Scientology is based on some dude trying to get what tax exempt status is what how the whole thing came about. 
or like trying 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 to start something. I, 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 I don't know. Like, I think he quoted I uh, was quoted saying like if you want to make money, start a religion. Yeah. I, I remember when I was like much, much younger seeing uh the book Dianetics. I had no idea what it was, but I thought it was like such a cool title. But I, I, I never picked it up and I never read it. And I think it wasn't until I started talking to you. I had no idea that like that that book was like the Scientology book. Mm hmm mm hmm Did you ever read that? No. Oh, okay. No. I I had no idea what it was. I was like, oh, that's a cool title. And yeah. Um, have you ever... did you ever watch that? Cassie Isaac wants to know. Watched your childhood? Yeah, like, do you remember um, Aaron when I first did his chant on his channel and I talked about the whole story, like how I was brought up in it and went mm -hmm. to the church here yeah. and pulled out of school? Did you ever know about that? I knew some of it. I knew like kind of the, the high level stuff. I, yeah, I remember you telling me you had never actually been to school. Um, never i think you said never finished high school um you told me about like how you were in like the little groups and stuff that your i think your dad had got you into it and i vividly remember you because i remember we were sitting out on your balcony or what whatever smoking around that fire pit and that's when you told me like how you your dad like basically you guys like es escaped from it basically it was like in the middle of the night and oh yeah I, did i, I tell you that, that, that night by the fire pit yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that, and that was kind of wild to me. And what is more wild is that he's still in it. Right. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I found it weird that he felt that he had to like sneak you out, like drive away, run away, get you out of it all for him to just go right back to it. I, I, I never understood the reasoning behind that. I don't, I don't understand. I don't either. Hey, Allison Byrne, that sucks. Um, yeah, guys, Ryan and I just, we don't talk nearly as much as we used to. I mean, ever we used to be super close because we work together every day. So yeah. we, uh, caught up on our lives every single day, but I don't talk to him oh, as yeah. often because he moved and, um, he's engaged and they're planning their wedding and he's just busy all the time. Do you know when you're going to have, your I wedding think we, wedding? so here's the thing. Um, it is stressing the fiance out. And I, she, she feels like, and I tell her it's not the case. First wedding, she, right? Yeah, she she feels okay. like that she has to do some. She has to do something like please the everybody. One. The first one is always the stressful. only one. No, this is I, I told her this is my one and only time. Um, I we, we may just elope. What? Yeah. I thought you were having a I, wedding. I thought I was going to come. Everybody wants me to stream at your wedding. Hey, artsy tartsy. We, she doesn't, I, I don't know how to plan it. We don't want to pay somebody to plan it. We don't want to pay like a crazy amount for a bunch of people to, to come. So what we're thinking about doing is going eloping and then like a couple years down the road, having like a ceremony for everybody else. So that way we have just, what? just our thing. Hell? Allison, yeah. thank you for your super sticker, babe. I love you, girl. I'm glad you were able to be here. Um, uh, Valerie, yeah, there's yeah. videos on it, girl, about my dad and escaping. Okay, hold on. I'm totally cool with you guys going and just eloping, but um, why would we wait years to have a party? You're not going to like each other at that point. Why wouldn't you do it yeah, when it's will. so fresh and new? Oh, you, you say have that, a, but that's you like have a cynical. Have kids. No, you no, have no, a no. cynical view on on marriage. Do I? It's a, it's a, it's I a very I'm... cynical view. I think I know a lot about it. I think I've, I've been around the block with it a few times. Just because you've been in three of them doesn't I'm gonna mean... I'm going to get three more under my belt too, brother. So I know more than you about it. What What, what is it that you think I'm cynical about? I, I feel like, you know, if you've been in, you know, the, 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 way I, the way I look at it is that if you've done so many marriages, then you wouldn't be getting in three more marriages, right? Jimena! Wait, say that again? Love you, Jimena. Thank you, babe. Well, you just said you're going to get three more, three more marriages under your belt. Like if you, if you knew marriages, men. oh, so you're just counting on them dying off. Well, I mean, that's what happens when you marry people with a 50 year age gap. Yeah. That's, that's why I just go for like the 12 year age gap. It's working for us. Is she 12 years younger than you? She, yeah, she's 26. Okay. Am I a bit cynical? 
Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're cynical. Yeah. You're cynical. Yeah, I know. Um, Although Jeff is healthy as a horse. I don't know how. I don't understand it. It makes no, <laughs> no sense to me. But that guy is healthy. Like He's going to outlive everybody. He is. Oh, yeah. Hey, yeah, I mean, says, I'm a realist. I'm a realist. Um, you're also cynical. Yeah. You you can be both. It's it's fine. I'm only cynical. What about uh, weddings? Mm. I don't know. Well, you seem to know. Spit it out. What do you mean? I, I I feel I feel like you're cynical when it comes to when it comes to relationships. <laughs> I don't. I don't know, like what all I I can say on here, but I, I I do feel like you're 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 cynical. What do you mean? All you can say is there something that I, uh... I I don't know what what I'm allowed to bring up and say on the the internet. So I just say based on conversations we've had, yes, I would, and I think I've told you this as well. Is that yeah, I do think you're a, a little cynical when it comes to when it comes to relationships. People are saying, tell them more. What is, is there something specific? Uh, Blakey, thank you for your super chat, Blake. And yeah, elope with a celebration. I love that. Um, yeah. Are you trying to say I'm a bit of a downer? You send me the darkest memes I've ever seen, and I'm cynical? I, I'm trying to think of how to say this to where it, it, it makes sense. I feel like... I don't know. Let's talk about this off stream and then you can, you, you can figure it out. Why? Cause I don't want, I, well, I don't want to put my foot in my mouth and say something I'm not supposed to say. And what does it um, have to do with marriages? I don't know. Well, everybody knows about my marriages. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I'm going to, I'm going to leave that there. I, I don't want to venture off into something I, I'm, that I, I shouldn't what say. What are you doing here then? You wanted to come on and now you're, you're, you're backpedaling. You're backpedaling. Well, I'm backpedaling when it comes to like stuff about you, like personal stuff about you. Yeah. I'm, I backpedal a, a, a little bit. Hmm. I'm trying I just, to think I, of I don't want to get anything in. personal that people don't know. Is, is there something you're worried that I'm afraid they're going to know about? Okay. Yeah. Let me touch you and, and ask you. Oh, I forgot about technology. Send a text over. Yeah, there's no boundaries here. I mean. <sighs> um, I mean, did you get my response? Mm -hmm. is that what you were going into or do you mean just why i i feel like sometimes marriages can be more I, I feel like marriages can sometimes be more of a business ar arrangement and i okay. feel like I, I i feel like when it's like approached as a business arrangement uh i feel like it's because people are in inherently cynical about them i, I, I get it so I like I like that so, topic, Ryan. And, it's okay to talk about that. And and I, I and I feel like that's kind of how you approach your your marriage. I guess I would say is that it was the smart thing to do, as opposed from I want to, you know, die with this person. And I and yes, I have a very dark sense of humor, and I have the most jacked up memes you could ever imagine. Um, but that is one thing that like I'm actually kind of like happy with myself on is that I, I don't approach relationships like that. And um, yeah, I think, I also think that that may stem from like, my dad has three or four brothers and he had one sister. Every one of them had one or more divorces. I think one, one of his brothers was divorced three or four times and him and my mom had, had been married for 51 years as of, or 52 years as of, St. Patrick's Day this year. So like I was I I was like brought up, you know, just differently, I think, with different yeah, priorities totally. for better or 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 for worse, I guess. I, I can see I can absolutely see how that would how that could bite me in the rear, but 
I see what you're saying. And we do have totally, you have to keep that in mind. And and you're not wrong. We do have totally different backgrounds when it comes to examples of parents Mm -hmm. and marriage. Yes. Yes. Uh, And, and what you're trying to say is correct me if I'm wrong, but what you're trying to say is I kind of entered into marriage as a a business deal type, like it just as a way to, yeah. I mean, you, yes. I mean, you, you wanted certain things, whether that be material stability, what, what have you. And I feel like that may be a driving factor for why you get married to someone. Yes. I could see that for this one. Yes. I don't know about, to be fair, I'm talking about this one. I don't know. I never met Fred. And to be 100% honest, everything you told me about Fred was, I mean, there was no benefit to you for entering Correct. into that It was marriage. a totally different situation. I was more in right. love than I had so, ever been in my life. Um, and and yeah, you said that is, always? Yeah. Ryan has definitely been over to my house for dinner. We've, he knows my whole family. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, I, would, uh, I wouldn't disagree with that. And I don't think it was correct. I also think this sounds bad, but now that you bring this up, um, is that for him, Blake? Would you say you say you're an idealist towards marriage? Is that for you, Ryan? Me? Oh, I, I, I would think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's probably more for you. Like I, I have, I, you, I, I have heard, I, I have heard the way that you've talked about your marriage with Fred, and I have seen how your marriage has unfolded with in your current marriage and they i i feel like they are completely off they're they're just they're they're opposite they are yes they are and so i think yeah my hope for you is that you go back and you approach marriage the way you did with fred at some point like i said jeff will probably up, outlive us all but if you're put in that position again i i do hope you go back to that mindset as opposed to this is what what makes sense mhm yeah, no, I don't think you're wrong there. I and I don't think yeah. it's right to enter into a marriage that way. But I yeah. did kind of enter into this one. I definitely loved Jeff. There was no question. But I also think we could have not gotten married. You know what I mean? Like it would have been fun yeah. to not get married. Yeah. But it was kind of like, uh, well, um, this makes sense. This makes this yeah. Makes sense. And I, I don't want anybody to think I'm saying anything negative about Jeff or Reese by any means. I just I. Jeff has been nothing but. Oh yeah, you I know mean, Jeff very well. Awesome, yeah. I mean, Jeff has been nothing but. I mean, he's just always been like the nicest guy to me. I, I've I have no issues. It's just I feel like you know. I feel like there could have been maybe a better coming from the guy that's never been been married. Okay, I feel like there could have been a better understanding before you signed on that marriage certificate. That's all. I could see that. Yeah. I could see that. And, and I know that w- that you mean that coming from the right place. Cause like you said, you like Jeff, you've always liked Jeff. You guys oh. get along great. Yeah. Um, I think you're more talking about toward me. This actually doesn't have anything to do with Jeff. If you think about it, it was more, you're saying it takes two to I tango. Am. Well, it takes two to tango. And I, I, I feel like people, speak for Jeff. I can't say right. Right. Now. No, I'm not saying that, but I feel like we also respond to stimulus in our relationship and our marriage that may, you know, maybe shift our, or shift our views. I, I think, you know, people, you know, you hear that, that cheesy saying that yeah, like, like marriage isn't 50, 50 and it's, it's a hundred, a hundred. So like, we can't put everything on you. I mean, we just can't. I don't think you should do that to yourself either. I also think sometimes a woman might do what I did more than why men would get married. You know what I mean? I, I could see a woman going, yeah. this makes financial sense. I will be taken mm-hmm. care of security men don't probably think yeah. that way as much when they're getting married because you're they're usually the ones more i just think men think differently um i truly feel like that if you have a man and a woman that that are in love and i i've, I've told i've told natalie this is not a dig by any means i i truly believe just from what i've seen and the things that i've read i i, I feel that if you have a man and a woman in love and it's real i feel like the man always loves like harder than the the woman does what? I feel like I feel like it's like deeper. It's a more. Welcome, Colin. I feel like a. I feel like when a woman is in love with a guy, it's not to discount that or say that she doesn't, 
it's not by any means, but you know, I think it was Chris Rock that said the only, the, the only, the only one that loves a man un unconditionally is his, is his dog. Right. I feel like a, a woman does, can love her man, but it is uh, on a certain sense. It is kind of con conditional. It's based on like her, her comfort level. Does she feel like supported financially? Does she feel supported emotionally? Does she feel this? Is there like a, platform for her whereas a man i feel like if a man is truly in love like he doesn't care like he doesn't care if his woman his fiance his wife is uh i don't know work, works at mcdonald's and lives in the one bedroom apartment i feel like the priorities between the two sexes are wildly different yeah i don't know that i agree with that i think it's hard to cover that with a blanket statement like that i think that that could be case by case i'm saying generally speaking generally speaking you know, obviously everybody can be different there's not like you know one blanket statement fits all but you know i do feel and i i think you know in a way you're kind of you're kind of that way like you you married fred and you got nothing for it right i mean you were you were the caretaker you were you know you were the stable person in the sense that you you took care of things like too. i mean everybody thought you Fred were, had you money. Were, he didn't exactly so i mean but i, I and i part of me wonder if, wonders it was maybe because of that you found the opposite in in jeff you found someone that what that's not as emotionally outgoing as fred seems to have been but mm -hmm. who is you know jeff much is, more is financially much more kind of professional i would say yeah like just yeah 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 um so maybe in, in in my mind i'm thinking maybe that is why you you gravitated more more towards that and i like what brianna said reese were you scared after fred died is that why you got married so soon i don't know that i would call it scared but i kind of think ryan's on to something as far as like i i clung guys again there's no lack of love yeah jeff was the mm -hmm. rock stable jeff was stable yeah and he is stable um <laughs> Kristen. Oh man. Uh, yeah. Jeff provided stability. And, um, I, I think that I was, uh, definitely attracted to that. I was looking for stability and, yeah. uh, yeah, that's all. I mean, I, I, and again, there was no lack of love, but it was just totally a different person, totally different. Uh, I guess path. It was for a relationship. totally different. Yeah, totally different circumstances, totally different like foundation. It was just a, it was a completely different sit situation, and it was something that made sense for you to do. Whereas Fred, you were just like super in love, hundred yeah. percent, hundred percent based on emotion and, and nothing else. Yes, Fred, I absolutely yeah. he provided me no stability as far as like Fred wasn't like here I can buy you this and that. Fred was barely making it by on social security. Um, mm -hmm. and that's, uh, I was actually helping him financially. So, uh, there is a big difference there. You're right. I never looked at it that way. And and that is not throwing any bad, uh, mm -mm. At, at Jeff. It's just, you're no. right. Um, Jeff was more, uh, prov providing, I think. And I yeah. looked at it like that. Je Jeff was more of a, Jeff is like the most generous man I've ever met. Yeah. He is. He's very generous. There is no way. There is no way to say it. I mean, there is no other way to say it. Like mm -hmm. financially, uh, I, he paid. Uh, yes. Yeah, Jeff, yes. Oh my God. I. Not that I ever have, and I and I never would. But I feel like if I needed something, and it's not that I've like even talked to Jeff that much lately. I feel like I could call him, and if he could do it, he would do it. That is that is the kind of person. Jeff is like, he has never mm -hmm. been anything but just gracious to me. And, uh, yeah. Jeff has some faults, but that isn't one of them. He, he definitely, whenever we go out, he, he wants to be the one that pays. He's generous mm -hmm. very much. He has a big heart in that sense. Um, yeah. and then in a lot of other, other avenues, he's selfish or, you know, like, but I mean, everybody is to a degree, right? Like not everybody's going to be great across the boards, but in that sense, Jeff I am. Is, Right. Yeah, I have, I have no fault, so I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shelly, Jeff is a straight shooter. When it, I mean, how many times has Jeff taken us out, Ryan? Like he, 
always gives you a good time. Yeah, he shows a good time. Yeah. He's uh funny. Uh, I think Jeff's funny. Really? Like you mean like his dad humor Just, funny? He doesn't have a he doesn't I have love his I love his dad humor. You get two well, you get two of I his mean. little Yeah, you get two two margaritas in Jeff and you get funny Jeff. Oh yeah. Oh, we used to call Jeff's him Fun a, Jeff. That's right. We called him Fun Jeff. Fun Jeff. Yeah, yeah, but but I but be serious with me. Jeff doesn't have like a sense like he doesn't his sense of humor doesn't make us laugh. We laugh at him because no. of his bad dad humor. Yes. Yes. Okay. I just I was. I like, mean, I know, I get his dad humor. Jeff 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 and you have completely different like styles of, of humor. I, 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 I can laugh. I, I I laugh much more at the things you say. Like it's like it's it's hilarious. Whereas Jeff, it's like yeah, dad. Dad humor. I think it's a good way to say it. Total dad humor. Me, I mean, sorry. Jeff makes me laugh yeah. because the waitress will come over and take his plate, and he'll be like, "I hated it." Ha ha ha. Like I'm like, oh, it's so sad. Yeah. Like the bad humor is yeah. thick with this one. But Jeff doesn't have an actual sense of humor that makes me laugh. I can't think of a time that like Jeff cracked a joke and I was like, clever, dude. That's hilarious. Like like you and I can. No, you you guys thing. are very but, different. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, no. We don't have the same sense of humor at all. I, I think you and I have a have more of a similar sense of humor than than you and Jeff. We we you both like what? the jacked up. We, you and I have more of a similar sense of humor than than Jeff. Well, for sure we do. Yeah. What was that? What just fell out of my hair? You washed it, right? I don't know. What do you I got did. stuck I just up in washed there? It today. I just took a clip out, but something fell with it. That was weird. Um. Oh, it broke. My clip broke. God, I'm tired of this nonsense. Nothing's working. Is it my period? <laughs> so anyway, um, Reese, would you get down with Ryan? Ugh, no, you obviously weren't here in the beginning. Ryan and I are truly, truly almost like we're blood related. Like Ryan, I look it's, at him as a brother. Yeah. Never, never, never. And as a matter of fact, you missed that part, I guess. Ryan said once, um, if I was the last vagina on planet Earth, he would not. So, uh, yeah, it's my period in a in a in a lo in a loving way, not in a not in a bad oh, way. Ryan Lucas, yeah, in a in a loving way, but no, like Ryan is engaged, guys. Artsy Tartsy, thank you. Um, and his fiance is super cool with me because she knows. Also, Ryan is about mm -hmm. what 30, 40 years too young. Uh, I, th this is true, and Reese is, you know, probably. Hair. 15 years too old. So, I mean, it's just, it's doomed yeah, from the it, beginning. It was you never going to work out. It was never. Uh, I, I Ryan, like him younger. She likes him older. Yeah. And yeah. there's just zero attraction. Um, yeah. Yeah. yeah uh, what? Oh, Ryan, Ryan, please don't go to Genesis and in Independence. I go to Genesis in Olathe. <laughs> Oh, Marissa Martin. Okay. Um, what is Genesis? Yeah. It's uh, the gym. Oh, that's why I wouldn't know what that is. Uh, yeah. I've yeah. never been into one. No, I haven't. That's what I was saying. If I went to the gym with you, what would I do? Like, do, do they have a snack counter? Oh. Do they have a place oh, to... Oh, Teresa could be so fun. We, we would start with, like, the free weights. We'd focus on that. Then we'd wrap up with, like, some stair steppers, some, some treadmill, something easy. It, it, it'd be fun. It'd be good for you. Oh, absolutely not. Uh, I like to maintain, you know that. I like to maintain my diabetes. Uh, what do you call 10 blondes standing hand in hand? I don't know, Blakey. A buffet. What's that? Ew. Uh, Was that sexual? That's gross. No. You're so dark. All. A wind tunnel. <laughs> A wind tunnel. That's funny. It. Says the blonde. Do you mind quit being a dicky and maybe explain it? What does it mean? I don't get it. A Just wind think tunnel? About it, Ten how many blondes standing hand in hand? Okay, I guess the Have world you may heard the one out. like how how do you keep a or uh what what was it? Gosh, I'm trying to remember. Oh, um, oh yeah, you, how do you Kristen, an airhead airhead? Yeah. 
Oh. How do you keep a how do you keep a blonde busy? I don't know, but if you're gonna piss off my channel, don't do it, man. I can't lose any more subscribers. Is this gonna be bad? Right flip on each side, each side of a piece of paper. Nobody's laughing. He's calling us dumb, Reese. Uh, well, to be honest, Julie, I can only speak for myself, but I am fairly dumb in a lot of ways. Guys, I'm not trying to be mean. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't like that term. I, I don't think you're dumb. I think you're ignorant. There's a difference. You're, you're, you're not a stupid person. You just lack knowledge on, on a lot of things because of how you were brought up. And to be not even to be funny, but that's one reason, like when I would talk about something, you had no idea what I was talking about. That is why I wouldn't make fun of you when it came to that, because to me, that, that wouldn't have been fair to you. Mm. But you I did mean, make if, fun if, of if me you, all the time. Not really. Not, not when I brought up something about Vietnam or something and you literally had no knowledge of it. No, I, I didn't. I didn't make fun of you for that. I mean, like you said, you didn't even go to high school. Like, how how could you possibly know? So I, I don't I don't think you're dumb. I just think you're ignorant on certain things. OK, Blake. Blake said, what do you call 10 blondes laying on top of each other? An air mattress. All right. You're going to piss people off, guys. <laughs> I am me. a blonde. Um, well, that's nice of you to say. No, I don't have any knowledge yeah. of history at all, Jilbo. None. At, at all. No, she she's not exaggerating. None. Zip. Zero. Zilch. I mean. Did you know that yeah. back then? I didn't until I remember I was bringing something up and you're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm like, how do you have no idea what I'm talking about? Like, this is, I forget what it was. And you're like, I didn't even go to high school. I'm like, what? And then later you you told me why. But, yeah, I think I remember actually you were talking about like D-Day or something and I didn't know any idea mm -hmm. what that was. And I still don't. I talked about this the other day. I truly feel like I was dropped here not that long ago. There's so many things like a bit about history that yeah. I just don't know. Like I thought um, Hitler and what was that? The Holocaust. I thought that was like mm -hmm. three or 400 years ago. Oh yeah, no. I mean, even, and the thing is like, okay, you, I, it probably was about D-Day. Like the average person, they might not be able to tell you like the day, the the year, but they can tell you like the kind of the synopsis of what D-Day is because they had to go through it in school. And you, you know, you retain, even if it's just a, a little bit, you'll retain something. But I mean, you never had that experience. So how, how could you? Yeah, it's just embarrassing. Like Shelly just said, so that was 1945. Somebody told me that recently. Mm -hmm. I had no idea was, that that was not that long was, ago. It was June 6, 1944. No, the Holocaust? D-Day. The, oh. the initial invasion of, of Normandy. Yeah, it started in, in 44. Oh. But well, see, said... I mean, there's people uh, people that sat through school. Like, they, they have that, like, kind of general outline of, of knowledge, and you just you didn't have, have that experience. So. I know. It's just really awkward. Like, again, I don't know why, but all this time in my whole life, um oh yeah i remember i thought there were dragons in the bible um, um but i thought i thought the holocaust i mean it's a horrible story i don't know the whole story but i i thought that was like from the like 1700s i thought that's when that happened no that's yeah yeah that's what i mean it's embarrassing but i don't know why i thought that it's but I mean, it shouldn't be embarrassing. I mean, how how often does you know the Holocaust and D Day and things like that come up in in normal conversation? To be to be totally yeah, fair, I, I don't feel like. Well, I I don't feel like you not knowing that stuff has affected our conversation in any way, shape, or form ever. Yeah, but everybody knows that stuff. Like, it may not come up in conversation, but I feel like if it does, people know. Like, they can pinpoint precisely when it was and. Okay, so it was 1933. Yeah, I, I was shocked when somebody told me that was like less than 100 years ago. I truly was like, what? I thought that was like hundreds of years ago. It's so embarrassing. I thought Philadelphia I was a state. I always thought, I still do. I have to think about it. I thought Philadelphia was a state. Um, yeah, it's just, it's, hey, true to it. It's just really weird, Ryan, when, when I think about it, like the things that just basic stuff that everybody knows that I don't know. 
Don't you think it's weird? Exactly. This person's this person said they're about the great red dragon and in the Bible, she she's right or he's right, whoever that person is. I mean, there there are mentions of dragons in, in the Bible, so it's not like you're even entirely wrong there. Yeah. So it's just different. It's just I, so weird. I, I find history very, very interesting. It's to I me, it's just do. like a, it's like a story. It's a lot it's of like people a story. Do. It's like fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people talk about history. Like once you kind of get to talking about it, I've heard people go down rabbit holes of history and I just glaze over and try to get the hell out of the room because yeah. I don't know anything. And uh, it's just wild. And once I do learn it, I'm like, wow, I didn't, I, yeah. Um, oh, that would be uh, so Natalie much is fun. She's 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 scared of the so open ocean like that. So am I. I, uh, anyway. I, I I asked her if she would want to go on a cruise, and she uh, she she's not really down for that. Um, I, I I can maybe talk her into going going on a cruise, but yeah. I am terrified. I've done it one time. I'm really scared of being out in the open ocean where there's no land, but. I'm going to do it anyway, because all the, did you know that there's a, there's a cruise from our channels mm -hmm. and, um, yeah. there's a lot of people going and I'm really excited about it. That would be cool because it's in September when you guys want to get married. Have you seen those, those TikToks of like the cruise liners in open ocean and like a storm and they're just like crashing down in the waves and stuff. Have you seen those TikToks? I don't want to. And I'm upset that you even brought it up. It's, uh, it's hey, can you guys post the new channel for Sassy Savage? Can you, mods, can you keep posting the channel so people can go over and subscribe? Um, I was worried about the boat getting um, robbed by like pirates or whatever, like getting taken Somali over, pirates. like hijacked or something. But my mom said that can't happen because the boats are so tall. And then I felt better about it. Is that true? From what I've heard, like, they don't want to hijack a cruise vessel. They want to hijack, like, shipping vessels and stuff like that. Okay. They, they, they want to steal the stuff off it to, to sell. Do you watch Reese's watch shows? I, it's, it's hard anymore. She does them all the time. It was easier to, like, keep up with it when she, when she started. I did watch yesterday's show to kind of see what would maybe come up getting on here with her. Um I don't, I'm not able to watch them all from start to finish, but sometimes I'll like have them on in the, the background at work and there's a lot of cooters and ant flow and stuff like that that comes up in them. So. I talk a lot Which about is, to be fair, yesterday. yeah, to be fair, it's exactly like real life. I mean, you go to any restaurant with Reese and she's asking about the waitress's cooter and telling about her cooter. And, I mean, it's. It's no different off here, is it? No, you're you're more uncensored off here, I, I think. But other than that, no topics the same. Things you say are the same. It's uh, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. And That's, I like Mexican I mean, food. Oh, we love Mexican food. Remember all the times we went to Taco Bell, and that one time I gave you a list. Yeah. How, how much did we did we spend at Taco Bell? I Jesus spent Christ! Like how much did you get? Twenty-two dollars at Taco Bell, and you like on yourself, on yourself. It, it was it it wasn't a damn combo. It was like everything was like specific, like a la carte. I want this a certain way, this a certain way, this a certain way, this a certain way. Oh, and by the way, stop by Starbucks, get my drink extra hot while you're at it. I'm just like, Jesus Christ. I remember you took a picture of my list, and you were like, "Are you being serious right now?" Here's the thing. Yeah. And Ryan learned this guys. I love to get like six different things at Taco Bell. And what do I do, Ryan? I take a bite of like two or three bites of yeah. each thing and throw it away and throws the rest out. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't eat everything I get. I just want like a couple of bites of this and that. So I get a bunch of it. Um, Did Reese ever crap oh, her pants yeah. at work? That's Did a you? topic. Oh yeah. I crapped my pants, but think of, remember all the times that I would go into different apartments and blow it up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, to go into the the vacants. Yep. yep. I went in I all the that. vacant apartments, and I would just really let loose. That was the best thing about working there. Is I mm -hmm. have you know I have a huge fear of pooping in public. Remember, I would just use it, a key to go into an apartment. I would just totally yeah. let loose. But to be um, fair, I mean that's that's pretty common in the in the the industry. Maintenance guys do that all the time. I've done that before. That's 
Yeah. That's, that's normal. I think. I think it's normal. It was just, I'm just telling you for me, it was like super exciting. If we would eat that Taco Bell, I didn't have the anxiety of like, Oh my God, I'm gonna have to hold it. So I get home. I would be like, I'm going to apartment 203. And I was like excited to go poop there. Cause I knew that I was going to have closure with my oh, colon. I, I was raised Pentecostal. I have stories. Oh boy. I have stories about that too. That's funny. Are you Pentecostal? No, no. Sarah's family is. And, uh, mm. Hmm. I, you you told me not to offend anybody but yeah i, I have stories too i did tell so. you that that is correct you're right yeah. i am more uncensored off here yeah yeah I'm, oh yeah 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 i'm probably way uh more i probably would offend people a lot more if they realized i'm probably more you would yeah i'm more opinionated oh. off here i would say uh oh, Denise, very much tommy, so. is great. But, tommy is doing great yeah you Denise. you you don't you I, I don't think you act like a different person on here, though. You just contain the, the things you say a little bit better. That's oh, yeah. All. I, I feel like any I feel like anybody in here were to, like, go anywhere with you in real life, they would not be surprised when anything that came out of your mouth. Um, I did crap my pants there once. Did you? I never when, when, you. when I was there, you shit yourself? <laughs> Are you serious? And I did something really bad that nobody knows except Jeff and Huxley. Um, uh, we're all going to know now. What is it? It Come was on. so bad. It was so bad. Let's go. Come on. Spill it. So <laughs> it was so bad. I think this is the worst thing I've ever done. Pants shitting wise. Oh, Jesus. And you know what? Before you guys judge, just think of the one or two times in your life that you did something embarrassing. Underwear in the trash? Close, Shelly, but they didn't go in the trash. Did you flush them? You flushed them? Did you flush them? Did, did you clog up a toilet? What'd you do? They didn't make it to the inside, dude. So I was eating at a restaurant nearby. It was after hours. And I crapped my pants <laughs> with Jeff and Huxley in the car. And I had a skirt on because it was after work and I was all dressed up. And I <laughs> got out of the car and I didn't make it. I was like, Jeff, hit the gas pedal, dude. It's happening. It's happening now. Oh <laughs> Jilbo, yes, I did. What? At, at work? So I got out of the car. Huxley got out with me. And I was like, run, run for your life. I'm going to shit. I crapped my pants. Well, I crapped oh my, my skirt. God. And it was bad. <laughs> so I took them off. I took my heels off. I took my... <laughs> Huxley would kill me. He was like, mom, don't ever tell this story to anybody. And I just tossed them. It was such a, I was like, I'm not even dealing. I can't deal with this. I just, I just shit myself. I don't care about the underwear at this point. And I left them. And the next day, Ken, the maintenance guy, we came into work. And guys, we worked at an old people place. So I was like, this is fitting. It, it, they'll just say it was an old person. And we come into work. And the maintenance dude that morning, I come in, I could not, I had to run to laugh because I was like, I can't keep a straight face. Please don't bring this up in front of me. And he was like, these people are animals. He was like. <laughs> he was like, they don't pay me enough. You're not going to believe what I found. And I was like. <laughs> sick i was like check the cameras disgusting. <laughs> i was like oh my <laughs> it was so oh, bad no. dude i couldn't go back i couldn't bring myself <laughs> to pick them up i just was so mad that i had to go home and clean up i was like i don't have time to pick these underwear up ken will get them in the morning uh it fits oh we'll my god people yeah Huxley was like, mom, you just left your shitty underwear over by the bricks on the side of the building. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I don't even know poor, what to say about that. Poor old people. I never told anybody, but I remember he was so angry and I was like, 
oh my God. I was like, that's the lowest thing that's happened here since I've been here. And he was like, I just, he was like, they're animals. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> some of them were, yeah. were very mean to us. Like there was a lot of nice ones. There were some mean, mean people there. Was it shortly after I started? It was after we closed the, we had to close everything up because of COVID. And didn't we forget to do it one time? And they like had jumped over like the serving bar and like raided the yep. snacks. Yep. And like the the fridges. They were, it was, it, old people act, I, they like regress. They were straight yeah. up acting like teenagers in there. Yeah, but they just also didn't like you. Like I, I got along with them great. I understood them. They were kind. I liked them, but we did have a few we did have a few that were really uh, hard to get along with. Yeah, hard to get along. Your chat is broke. Who is that, that one mean? that? Thank you for your super chat. Who is that one that came up and like was cussing you out? He was the one in, in the wheelchair called you an effing fashionista. His name was Ken. And... Oh my god, yeah. you guys! He hated me. He <laughs> hated me, and I hated never... her. Do you remember? That's a funny story. He hated me. And you were kind of just mm -hmm. starting. And I was like, Ken, stop. And I, guys, how dressed up did I get for work, Ryan? Tell them. Oh, my God. It was every day. Like walking out of a magazine. It was ridiculous. Like I would mm -hmm. get super fancy. I loved it. I loved fashion. Yeah. So I would get super dressed up. And everybody always commented on my clothes, didn't they? They were like, you're so fancy. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's all I have to yeah. offer. I, all I have is my closet. Um. So Nothing I would else. dress yeah, I don't, I, it's empty inside. Um, so Ken, yeah, I can't remember why he was mad, but he came down the hall and he was, remember how growly he was? He had the scariest. Oh voice. my God. He, uh, he came down the hall and Ryan was brand new. I had been there for years and this dude was arguing with me and Ryan comes out and is like, Hey man, he was like, you need to, you need to chill. And I was like, Ken stop. And what did he say? He went, fuck you Reese. And I was like, here we go. And he went, you fucking fashionista. I was like, yeah. Then hey, he like what? murdered off. I was like, yeah. oh, I love that. Yeah. It was yeah. awesome. I was like, I didn't expect that to turn into something so glorious. Uh, yeah. Remember the guy that would remember who was the one that he would be in his in his wheelchair, but he didn't need the wheelchair because he would just motor along Larry, with his legs. He Larry. Would, he was just like walk along in the he wheelchair was lazy. he did not need a wheelchair but he yeah. was just lazy i think he found it like at a walmart and he just was lazy and he would just scoot in the wheelchair but he could walk just fine but you saw his little legs like, pedaling all the time and i was like Some like people fred flintstone that, yeah yeah he would fred flintstone yeah. it it was so funny yeah. that was a fun time larry was funny yeah, it was cool because like you you knew depending on who came up, like what kind of inter interaction you're going to have. And sometimes sometimes it would be fun to like respectfully and professionally egg them on just a little bit. I mean, depending yeah. on if, yeah, who it was. I mean, I loved those people, but there were like Ken, there were a couple that were super mean. Um, but the majority of them were very nice. Very nice. And and we were more than willing Very to do nice. things for them. But yeah, there mm -hmm. were a few that uh, nothing was good enough. Remember the breakfast we had to serve during COVID? And they were like, what is this crap? A fruit cup? And like, they were mad about the pastry. Yeah. And, yeah. So these people were used to like everything being catered in. And right when I get there the next week, all the, the 15 day lockdown started. Right. Yeah. And, uh, so the corporate office wouldn't let us do everything that had been done before I got there. And so we had to make these like paper bags with like individually wrapped fruit cup and granola bar and what, whatever. Mm -hmm. And that's what we had to give out to everybody. So of course everybody associated their awesome catered breakfast going to like, you know, grade school sack lunches. They, they thought that was my whole idea and hated me because of it. But yeah, no, it's, and then lunches were the same thing. And then like all the events that you guys would tell me that you did. And when I interviewed with, what was her name? Heather told, Heather. you know, told me about like all that, all that shit, just, they just axed it. And everybody, everybody there associated me starting 
with the company buying the property with all of their cool stuff being taken away. And it was just, yeah, they didn't like you. It, I was grandfathered it was in because I'd been there, but they didn't yeah. like you. It, it, yeah. it was just a perfect storm of everything just hit the fan at once. It, it, it was. It, it sucked. It's, it you sucked. Fucking fashionista. That was yeah, awesome. Was. I was pissed. I was just turning away when he said, fuck you, Reese. And when he did that, I turned back around. I was like, well, thank you. I just got this blazer. I really appreciate that. And I'm glad you like the necklace that it goes with. That was all I knew how to do, guys. I would get very dressed up for the old people. Yeah. And um, I've and got a lot free. of nice yeah. corporate clothing. And that's why when I crapped my skirt, I didn't care about the under, like I had to get those off. Cause I was like, I don't want to ruin my shoes. I don't want to, you know, my, I already just, there's I, it, mud, butt. I had mud, butt everywhere. And, uh, it had to go. And so they just slapped up against the bricks and kind of stuck there until the morning next to the gutter and the nice bushes. And <laughs> Ken, Ken was like, I don't get paid enough for this. I was like, what sickos. I am so sorry. Uh, so I'm just curious, how many times did you pee, poop, or puke in Jeff's car? Oh, quite a bit. Yeah, a lot. There's still vomit. I take um, a toothpick sometimes. There's still dried vomit all along the sides of his Ford Explorer. I threw up one time, you guys, when I first was dating Jeff so bad, and I tried to take a... Um, hold on. I got a text from Jeff about Huxley. So hold on. But, um, I, I tried, I started throwing up and I grabbed a paper bag to try to puke into going 70 miles an hour down the highway with Jeff driving. And I puked into this bag. And of course it just melted right through the bag. So I opened the, rolled the window down. Jeff's in a tuxedo. I'm in a really nice gown. We had just left a black tie dinner and I roll the window down and I try to throw it out and it slapped all back in going 70 miles an hour into Jeff's corneas all over his tux, all over my dress. And I couldn't stop. I just kept puking. So yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. And I had just met, I mean, we were new and his car still has dried. Yeah. But how many times that was one time I had thrown up in his car again, but it wasn't, it didn't make as big of a mess. But um, I have crapped my pants in his car like four times. That's amazing. Have you? I, I haven't crapped my pants since I was a baby. Oh, come on. That's ridiculous. Everybody has. No, I don't think they do. Ask your chat here. Does everybody in here shit their pants? I'm genuinely curious. Um. Hold on, I'm texting Jeff again. Uh, everybody's crapped their pants in here. As a, as an adult, like that's, that's a funny. thing, you know, Deb. Oh yeah, everybody. Yeah, not even a shart. You haven't sharted. You're a liar. No, no, no. I haven't pissed myself. Haven't pooped myself. I've I've puked on myself. You no, haven't sharted. No. I'm going to play that game. Uh, hold on. This is about Huxley, guys. No, I, I have I have come close. I There have been some very close calls. Yes, absolutely. Where if I had waited another minute or not got home in time, yeah, there, there would have been a mess. But there have you been very close calls. You know how many times when Jeff and I were first dating, uh, we would he would pick me up from work, take me to dinner. And I was, I still don't poop in front of Jeff, but, um, I would say after dinner, I'd go, I forgot something at work. Oh my God. Or I would act like I got a text and say an old person is having an emergency. And I would be like, I'll be right back. I just have to make sure maintenance is taking care of this. And I'd run in and crap in an empty apartment every time. Well, I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't shit when, when Natalie's around. That's why I love that. We have like two floors. We have a half bath down here, two full baths up there. So she can go up there. I, I can come down here. Like. I mean, yeah, I don't, I you don't, don't poop wanna... in front of her. No, she, she doesn't in front of me either. Here's Joe virus. He's a big deal. He's a big DJ. He DJs across the U S oh, I have chipped my pants anymore. in the car at the club while DJing piss my pants. See? Yes, you have Ryan. Why? 
What do you mean, why? Everybody has a, a like loose why? goal why? sometimes. Can't you just not like hold how it? Does that... Like I said, there's been very, there, there's been several times where it's been very, very close. And if I had not I got home in time, yes, I probably, I, I would have shit my pants. But hmm. it hasn't happened. Knock on wood. Not, not yet, just, anyway. I have a hard time believing you. Has Natalie crapped her pants? Um, let me ask that her. Would, that would be a yes. Everyone wants to know if you've shit your pants as an adult. If she says I don't know no, if she's going to read it. Liars. Tommy I'm not, I don't, I don't his lie. Pants in the last couple of weeks, I think Tommy was talking to me on his walk when he shit his pants. Are you telling me you? Maybe it's a thing as, as, as you get older, you can't control your, your, your sphincters. Maybe it'll happen to me as, as I get older. Ryan, I'm two years older than you. Like I said, maybe it's more, maybe you just have to, maybe I something happens as you get older. To admit it. I think you're too embarrassed to admit it. I, I would admit it because it, it would be a, it would be a funny story. I have no Kristen, problem telling, telling self-deprecating stories. That's why I have a ton of underwear. Every time I shit my pants, I throw them away. I'm not keeping those things. No way. Ryan, if you knock her up, she will shit her pants at some points. Yeah. Nope. I'm, I'm clean. Whoever this Kristen person is, I am clean. I shower twice a day. I am a clean person. Wow, Joe. I'm sorry that that happened to you while DJing. I would think it's hard to poop your pants DJing. I do have tummy issues. I felt so bad for Jeff when I threw up all over him. I threw up all over into his retinas. It was so bad. And all he said after that, years after that, he was like, you know, I must really love you because I was like, what, you would have dumped me? Would you dump a girl because she threw up all over you? That's shallow. Ryan can't come back on this channel until he shits his pants. Initiation is of sub. Yeah. I agree, Blake. Ryan, I don't know that I believe you. You're a type one diabetic. Doesn't that have you didn't poop no. yourself? Mm -mm. It has. It has. It doesn't affect that at, at all. Mm -hmm. So you're just saying your colon is ship shape. I'm saying I have come very close, but I've got home just in time. You have a okay. You've never had a leakage. No. Never leaked a little no. bit of a shart out of the anus. No, in the toilet. You're a liar. I, I can tell pants. you're lying. I swear. I swear. I swear. Let me ask you something. It has not happened. Okay. Smile if you're lying. I'm I laughing now. That's not it. fair. You're a All liar right. and a fraud. Ask. I knew I'm it. not. Ask. Ask. You're lying. Ask. Ask. Ask who? Your anus? You you just you you just said you're gonna ask me something. Smile if you're lying. I just did. Smile to us if you're lying. I'm not lying. I have come very 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 close. Nothing has got my pants. Someone <laughs> over here said he he's lucky. Yes, I'm I'm lucky. I crapped in my pants last week. I cried. Brianna, that sucks. I don't think I've ever cried about it, but I've been. Uh... Highly, highly embarrassing. Look at Bo. Oh, he's so nice. He's so friendly. Um. Yeah, I think I think Ryan. I'm 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 blown away that everybody pooping their that, that people pooping their pants is such a common thing. I I legitimately. Oh yeah. Yeah, huh. yeah. BT Kit and I agree. I I I just think though. The, the the worst time that that I remember this it uh, when I left when I lived in Independence and went to Sinzetti's out in Overland Park and had to drive back to Independence and yeah that was bad that I think that was the closest I've I've ever come it was it was bad that it, it that was place bad. was a buffet that makes sense that uh, you'd shit yourself yeah. buffets are disgusting. I mean, it's a for it's good for a buffet. We we actually went like last month for brunch, but it rolled right over into like the the dinner menu. It was it, it was good, but I did not almost shit myself the last time we went. So I don't know what what it was. I ate the same thing, did the same thing, but hmm. yeah. Interesting. Look out, Bo. 
Natalie hasn't read the message yet. Do you smoke, vape, anything? Every ever get a bad head and cough so bad you crapped. Uh, I smoke cigars. Oh yeah, he's just, yeah, he's just, him and Jeff smoke cigars. Ocean or um, lake? I don't lake. really vape. I already know the answer. Lake. Um, I prefer ocean. What? Don't you want to live in like Wyoming or something? I would love my. I would love to live in like. Montana, Wyoming, something like that. But if I could pick to ocean over lake, it'd be ocean every day. I mean, yeah. Like freshwater lakes kind of kind of creep me out. They they seem very dirty. And I have an irrational fear, and I know it's irrational, but I have an irrational fear of putting my head underwater in a freshwater lake and getting one of those brain eating amoebas. Oh, that's not irrational. That happens to one in every three people. Does not. Love you, Ursina. What is that squeaky noise? Graham's uh, playing with his uh, his owl uh, or his his bat. Graham, are you playing with your bat? He's a good boy. What's this now, Blake? One time I was riding with family on the way home from a Hooters, and the wings were so acidic that I broke my desk. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, Blake. I actually uh, no, I am not Joe Virus. I actually, Blake, appreciate your honest story um, that you did that because I shared my tr my story. Wait till Huxley finds out, you guys, that I shared the story of throwing my undies. This is Abby. She's my my old girl. Yeah, Abby is so cute. She's old. How old is Abby? Seventeen, I think. And she's acts young. She's, She's so not doing too mean. good lately. Over the last couple of weeks, like her back hips are not doing good. She has like good days and bad days, but other than her hips, yeah, she's. Yeah. Blake or yeah, I'm reading Blake, but I was looking at Abby. Abby is old, but she's so cute. Abby is the cutest dog. That makes me a little sad. Look at her face. She's getting all the white in her yeah, face. Yeah. And you can see her cataracts big time. Yeah. About her are since she was two. Are you getting sad about it? Oh, yeah. She's my baby. She's been with me through so much. Yeah, she has. That's sad. All right. That's depressing. She has a, she has a big old lump like on, on her chest. What is but it? She's, I don't know, but she's too old that I don't want to take her in to get her, to get her surgery and yeah, but you There's should at least know what if it's like some fast tumor that you need to know about. It feels like it feels like just a, a, a fatty tumor. It, it doesn't feel like Shelly's dog just died like two days ago. I just lost my dog. Ryan, please try dog aspirin. I'll do that. Um, other than that, I, I, other than her her back, and I think it's specifically like her back left hip. Like she'll she'll have good good days. Where she's fine, but then she'll like she kind of limps a little, and when she like squats to go poop, like she has a she has an issue. But other than that, I mean, she's she's here's amazing. Graham over here, over here squeaking his baby. Let me see if I can Graham. Oh my God, he's so cute! Oh, he's so cute. Yeah. Did did I tell you? Oh, I did tell you. I got Natalie her her wedding gift puppy, right? Yeah, you told me. She's I don't really excited. love that you're getting a puppy. Like, why can't you go adopt an older dog? It's what she wants. Okay. I was gifted a membership a while ago and I've been away. Why do I not see membership options? ASAP Lizzie, hey. Um, I don't know. Mods, I think you have to do it through your computer. I haven't been able to figure out doing it through my phone. Um, Ryan, did you enjoy today? Yeah, it was fun. You want to do it again sometime? If you want me to, for sure. Did you guys like Ryan? I think Ryan's fun. I actually miss chatting with you. We don't talk anymore. I know you're, you're so I, busy on on here. I what yeah, breed right. is Graham? Graham is we when we adopted him. His paperwork says he's a. Uh, what is it? Um, it's the dogs your 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 mom had uh, a Great Pyrenees Shepherd mix. That's a good question you... because Ryan boned everybody in Kansas City except me. Natalie's going to watch this. Uh, dogs Unite true. Against Scientology. Uh, so, yeah, babe. Shout out to you. Thank you. So Natalie, 
I uh, broke like a lot of rules I have with with her. So um, she actually worked for me. So I, I I I hired her, and I was in a relationship at the time, and um, she was doing her thing at at the Aww. time. And uh, you figured it out. Thank you, ASAP, Livy, Lizzie. Go on. And uh, I remember, so it was May 13th and we, so we worked at the same place and me, my assistant and Natalie, who was a leasing agent, we lived in the same apartment community, literally just a building down from, from each other. If any one of us needed something, we, I'd be like, Daisy, bring me this day. Natalie you, would ask for something. And um, one, I remember it was Friday the 13th. I was like, uh, I wanted to drink some wine. I texted my assistant Daisy and she's like, I don't, I don't have a bottle opener. Text Natalie. So I text Natalie. I'm like, Hey, do you have a, a bottle opener or a, a, a corkscrew? And she was like, well, I'm not home right now. My apartment's unlocked. You can go over there or I'll just run it over when I come back. I'm like, well, it's, it's fine. You know, whatever. And she, um, it was like 9 30 and she's like hey i'm back do you want me to bring your corkscrew or did you go get it for my apartment said no so she came over stuff happened and um i was like huh you know i remember sitting there i'm like oh i i actually kind of kind of like this chick i kind of like this girl she's she's cool uh well we were still working together obviously and um it was a it was kind of like a fling. It was convenient because we lived so, so close to each other. So, and then I was like, well, this is what I want to do. So I was pursuing her and she was not really open to the idea because she was kind of wanting to be single. She wasn't wanting like any of that responsibility and stuff. And then um, we had without getting too much detail, we had like a little falling out and we tried to stop talking to each other and that didn't work. And then we made it official. And I told her I, this was October 15th of last year. And if it feels like, it feels like we've been together forever and not, and I don't mean that in a bad way, looking back, everything happened very quickly. Um, we hooked up May got together October, that felt like a, a lifetime. There was like so much packed into those couple of months. It felt like a lifetime, not a yeah. good lifetime. It, it, it was a shitty situation for every, everybody involved. Um, we got together officially October 15th. And I remember telling her, I was like, if you can behave yourself and you can show me that like you're, I He's can trust you, I will, you know, propose to you within a, a, the, the year. Like I'll g g give it a year and I will, proposed to you and i proposed to her on september 16th of this year so um on top of it i've always had a no single mom rule and i broke that as well mm -hmm. um she she's got two kids so uh yeah i mean it's just but it's 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 good and you know she's really a good girl i like her a lot she is she she's she is um too. oh she's the hottest thing ever oh she's so hot but, okay, well, then yeah. that tells you too. I mean, I feel like you know too if you're that yeah. attracted. It no, nothing's old with her. That's the thing. It's like, and I and we we talk about it. And for she she's 26. I'm I'm 37. But the way that we were brought up is very similar. Like our parents acted very similar. Mine were a little bit bit more strict. She was allowed to run run wild. I wasn't. But like we like the same kind of music. Like my dad played the same kind of music. So when I'm like, Oh, I, I like dire straits. You know, you have this 25 year old girl. Oh, I, I love dire straits. Play, play this. I mean, we were, we're very, we're very, very surprisingly similar on so many different things that the few things that we don't agree on or that we're, we're not similar on. It's kind of surprising to me because there is that age gap there. There is that, that whole thing there. And um, I ended up, yeah, quitting that property because I, you know, I told her, I was like, I don't want to sneak around. I don't want to hide you. And I went to, ended up going to a, a better company, a better, you know, better pay. Everything worked out in the end and she's got a nice ring. So, yeah. Well, that's a great I story. guess when, 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 yeah, when you, when you know, you know, so well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for anything. So it's.
that's that's good uh breed yeah, is the is wedding it? dog yeah it's a uh bichon poodle mix mix so the mom is a bichon and the dad is a mini poodle mix oh and he's black and white and his name is bandit and she already got him a little shark squishmallow bed and he's got him some toys and um yeah. everybody's asking you are you serious what what uh am i serious about what what what, what did i say I don't know. You said something about being good. What did you mean? I didn't. Artsy Tartsy's mad at you, but I can't, I can't figure out why I was. Behave herself in what way? Did you say something? I don't know. So, so when we met, um, Natalie was happily living the single life and I told her like, I have to know that you, that this is like something you want to do, that you're going to, you know, act properly in a relationship. She's, she had never been in an actual re relationship. Um, so when you said, if you can be good, do you mean like be in it like um, monogamous? Yes. Well, not, oh. not, not just that, but the girl had never been in a long-term re relationship. Her, her son's father was not a good relation or her, 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 her child's her children's father, I should say. It was not a stable, good thing. Yes. They were, it was like, it was just an on again, off again, not a healthy thing. She had never been in a long-term, long-term relationship whereas i had i i, I have and so it's more committed. so telling her Jeanette like that's committed is that what you okay ex I think that's what he exactly meant by it, guys. chill chill yeah. if, are... if, if you can show that you're like that this is something that you want to do and can do like and i think i, I know what you're it. saying too because you were so like never going to get married it had to be just yeah. right i've known you long enough to exactly. know like, there were specific things and you broke a lot of rules for this girl that you wouldn't have and so you were I, saying, I, like, if you want yes. to be with me and you can show me that, like, you're not you're going to be committed to me. I get it. I understand what you were trying. to Yeah, say. I had been with. So I've been engaged one time bef before and Two I didn't want to do it. Jane. I didn't want to. I did not want to do it again after that. I was just kind of like, right. I didn't want to get engaged. I didn't want to get married. I didn't I didn't want to put myself through that. Yes, and in this situation. That. Yeah, and, and when this situation kind of fell in, in my lap, it wasn't too it, it wasn't too far after it started that I was like open to being like, okay, you know, I, I want I want to see where this goes, but I wanted to make sure that she had the same mindset that that I do. I've never been married, but Reese will tell you, like I take relationships and like actual relationships, not not flings, but like relationships and marriage, like very very he does very seriously does. guys um, ryan takes marriage extremely seriously when i first met him he told me he'll probably never get married but if he does he's only doing it once i think he follows in the footsteps you said your parents have been married like 50 years or something 51 so, years this year yeah yeah so i think uh he took it uh extremely seriously and he does take it very seriously so i totally know what you meant when you were talking about that i totally and know for people like, and for this, people getting offended very seriously yeah yeah and for for people getting offended on natalie's behalf don't because we had multiple com conversations about that and she knew exactly what i was saying like um yeah. and she she uh, agreed i mean she was i mean she she knew exactly what it was um and yeah joe yeah you would dude yeah, I get what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Um, oh, that would have been cute, relatable paddles. Um, mods, can you one last time before I sign off? Everybody, um, it's okay, artsy tartsy. It's all right. Um, can well, you throw up that? that uh, well, this 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 artsy person, like I I get I get where you're coming from. Um, guys are assholes. I'll be the first one to say it. Like, guys are assholes, right? They're, they're, well, they can be. I mean, I I don't know what else to 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 say about it. Like it it is it is what it is. But it was more so just making sure that this younger girl that had never been in a long term monogamous relationship or really a relationship of, of any sort not only wanted to do it but was able to do it. I think and you were saying was. if I'm going to put myself out there and be vulnerable. 
I would like to marry you, mm -hmm. but like, yeah. I have these, I have these, um, you know, standards that I, I've never been married either. And I, I get it. I, yeah. I don't think it's, yeah. uh, I don't think it's a well, bad one thing. of these days. Um, when, when we, when we don't have the kids, one of these days bring, you should bring us both on. She's, she's funny. I, th I think she'd like really to do this. That, yeah. She's also she's really cute adorable. And sweet. I like her. She's I like very, her a lot. She's very sweet. Yeah. I think that's a I'm, good idea. I'm a, I'm a fan of her. You are. And I, and I like how in love with her you are. I think that's a sign right there. Um, Valerie, oh, yeah. don't I, be, I, don't apologize. It's all right. It's okay. Everybody. We're all family here. It's all right. No big deal. Um, no, it's not none, none to apologize. Like I, I totally understand how someone that wasn't in, in the situation is seeing some guy online saying, I told this girl she needs to act right and, and I'll propose to her. Like I get it. But on the flip side, it is what, what it is. And there's obviously more that went into the conversation with her that I'm obviously not, you know, yeah. word vomiting out, out here. It was more the, the gist of it. And yeah, we went to Powell Gardens and I was like, so, so fucking nervous. I, <laughs> I, I wanted to do it. I had this ring in my pocket. I kept like feeling to make sure that the thing didn't fall out. And then every time I wanted to do it, I like, I wanted to get a picture of it. Cause I was, you know, her friend was like, you, you want that picture when you first propose like that, that look on her face. And so I was, every perfect time that I could find, like no one was there. And so I, I never did it. And then we get to the end and I'm like, oh, shit, like I, I've got to do it. And we're walking around. I'm trying to tell her, you know, Oh, let's just go back here. And she's getting annoyed and fed up. She's like, I just want to leave. And so ended up having the uh, guy that actually does the weddings there in the, the, the wedding chapel there. I was like, you know, Hey, can you come take a picture of us by this cool, like indoor and I'll send the pictures to Reese and she can, send yeah. it or show it to whoever right um and uh i was like can you take a picture and i remember the guy i gave the guy my phone and natalie was like turned around looking at something and i did the whole getting down on one knee thing and she was just like she turned around and you can see it in the picture she's like her brain hasn't caught up to what's happening and she was Aww. like so confused and i'm just like honey will you marry me and she's like she she doesn't say anything. Like she's so confused, and I and she was like, "Yes," and because she that's normal. I was that way with Jeff. I yeah. was like, "What?" I was really sidetracked. I couldn't believe it. Oh, that's sweet. You did propose really sweet. Like I'll, I'll I'll send the pictures over, Reese. Um, she just responded back. She goes, "I don't think so. I remember when I was kid, and when when I was a kid, stick and shit myself like twelve years old. I said, just as a kid though." What about as an adult? She goes just as a kid. Yeah, so. you guys aren't married yet. She's not going to admit to that. Uh, she's like <laughs> 25 too. She's not going to admit to that. She just turned 26. Okay, yeah. She's not going to admit to shitting her. No, it was, a, it, it was a. It was a. It it was awesome. Like everybody was was in on it. Uh, her her friend was in on it. Um, everybody knew, but her. My my mom actually helped me get the ring because. I didn't want her to see like the transaction on the bank account. And so my mom actually bought the ring for me. And I, once everything was done, I gave, you know, my dad back the money. Um, yeah, it was, it was, it was awesome. And I felt really bad. I, this is one of the only times I've really felt bad for her was because a week or two before this happened, mind you, I'd already bought the ring. The ring was in my closet, in my safe. And she comes home from work and she was like, when are you ever going to propose to me? And I'm just like, or she's like, well, when, when are you going to, when are you going to buy me a ring? I'm just like, I can't buy your ring right now. Like we just moved into this expensive town home. I've got this and this going on. Like, you know, just wait for the good, wait for the proper time and it'll happen. And she was like, you could just see it in her face. Like she was like sad. She was very, very sad. And I almost, I mean, just, I, to, to this day, even knowing that I had the ring upstairs, I knew everything that was happening. To this day, when I think about it, I felt so bad because I mean, her face was just like, it is the most sad I've Aww. ever seen her. And so that's why that that day she had no idea it, it was coming. She had no clue. And everybody, yeah, hit it very well. And it was a it was a great story. Yeah, that and, was that was a cool story. I was excited about yeah. that story. That was cool. Uh, Ryan, everybody votes that you come back. So that's a good thing. They like you. Um, 
Guys, we're at the two hour mark, so I'm gonna sign off. I have to go to Huxley's baseball game anyway, but um, that's why I did an earlier live. What's tomorrow, Thursday? I'll probably do an earlier live tomorrow. Tommy and I are gonna okay, mods before I leave. Can we throw up uh, our new channel? Tommy and I started a channel called the Relate Boat. Uh, please go over and subscribe. Uh, we're up to like 600 already in the last couple hours. Go over and subscribe if you would, and we're gonna do our first uh, show, um, so we can get those watch hours in too, and uh get it going. I'm kind of excited about it. Uh, mods, if you don't mind, uh, Ryan, always a pleasure. Cool. And, Absolutely. Uh, thank Absolutely, you, Kathy. Reese. And, uh, brother, I will, Oh, I would like to go to lunch with you guys soon. We talked about that. So she's got a wedding. I have Caden right, this talk. Saturday. She's got the Love wedding you, next week, but after that, we'll definitely figure something out. And okay, if you I'm want to do something, when she's when she's home i'm sure you guys would love to pick her brain too i'm sure she'll have a totally different perspective on on things uh it starts tomorrow uh yeah i would love that i honestly would love that okay but i also would like to uh get some uh, mexican food so if you don't mind just pencil me in as long as you don't shit your pants okay thanks again bye okay you can hit you can hit leave if you want it's up to you but i'm gonna leave just... all right Okay. Yeah. Uh, bye. Okay. Guys, I hope that was fun for you. Thank you for being here. Ryan's hilarious. I've known him a long time. He's a good friend. Um, thank you for being so kind to him, everybody. Uh, Joe, love you. And guys go over and subscribe to the relate boat. Thank you for doing it. It'll only if you want to, if you don't love me and Tommy together, I'm not pressuring you to do it. Uh, Wendy Brewer. I'm still sorry that you lost your neighbor friend. I'm so sorry to hear that, babe. You're really going through it. Uh, yeah, I won't be crapping my pants. I haven't eaten yet today, so I think we're good. Uh, I'm going to go to Huxley's game and, uh, thank you, Tambor June. And again, guys, good. I, I'm glad you guys liked Ryan. He's great. He's a good friend. He's solid. And I know I can rely on him. He's very trustworthy, which I appreciate a friend. Um, so yes. And, uh, here comes Fred. I'll be back on tomorrow. I might try to do an earlier afternoon live again tomorrow. Um, Yeah. All right, guys, uh, I'll pop on also with Tommy, but I don't know what time tomorrow. I'll post it in the Facebook group. And if you apply to go into the Facebook group, just answer the four questions, please, please, please. All right, guys, love you all. Thank you for being here. Thanks for sticking with me. And here comes Fred and I will see you tomorrow.